All right, good morning. Welcome to my classroom. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you really quickly about how I'm balancing VIP kid and out school because it's working pretty well together and I'm really happy with my current schedule. So right now I'm teaching, um, I used to teach from four to eight or nine with VIP kid, but that four o'clock hour was wearing me out. So I decided to cut the four o'clock hour and that's kind of when I started to get into out school. So out school is an American company. You don't have to work early in the morning. And I was very excited about that. My daughter went to preschool this fall and we are in person, which is amazing. So she's actually in preschool and I have been teaching for out school during that last hour of the morning, so like eight to 9 a.m. Central, and then during the chunk of time when my daughter's at preschool, and it's working really, really well. Let me explain. So here's my, my current schedule. I teach from five to eight for VIP kid, every day, except Sunday. And then that last hour of the day, there's one day where I have a VIP kid regular, but mostly I'm switching this over to out school. Now, for those of you who are kind of new to VIP kid, that last hour of the day, 8 to 9 a.m., there's all these rules about the kind of classes that VIP kid can schedule during that time. So it really doesn't book very well. It's like random trials. Sometimes you'll get a student who's outside of China, but it's really irregular. So it's a great hour. If you're curious about adding out school, you could start by just adding this hour of the day from 8 to 9 a.m. And then now that my daughter's in preschool, I have a chunk of day during the morning where I can teach from 9.30 to 11. So without school, you can format your classes however you want. You can do longer classes. I've decided to stick with 25 minute classes so that it's really easy to schedule. It's just simple to me. So when I show people this schedule, they're always like, how do you get up at five o'clock every morning? And the honest truth is, you have to plan for rest. You have to, you cannot just be a superhero, especially if you're a mom and you're home with your kids all day, or if you have another job you have to go to, do not think that you can get up at 5 a.m. every day. If you're staying up, you know, it all depends on how late you stay up, I suppose. But I usually stay up till 10 or 10.30, sometimes 11, and that just does not add up to enough sleep if I'm waking up at five. So what I do is I always take a nap in the afternoons. I'm unashamed about my nap. <laughs> I just consider it like most people sleep until seven or 6.30. So I just consider it like the rest of my nighttime sleep. I sleep with my toddler and um, it's great. And then another key, I never work Sundays. You need to plan rest into your week. I really believe strongly that you should take one day off every week. So that's my schedule and I love it. I hope you find a schedule that works for you. Bye.